Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, ThatGuyReviews.com. So today we're looking at the Hue Pro humidifier. I picked this up not too long ago from Amazon because I needed a humidifier for the room. And this seems to have a lot of good ratings, and it was a little bit more pricier than the other ones. So I figure I'd give it a shot. So I'll start off with the unboxing, and we're going to take a closer look at the humidifier. So of all the humidifiers, you might be curious what influenced me to purchase the Hue Pro especially since it's one of the higher priced humidifiers available. The average price for a humidifier is roughly about $40 USD, and this Hue Pro humidifier is a little more than $100. So here are the main attractions for my purchase. This particular Hue Pro has a really large capacity of 5.5 liters for larger rooms, up to 500 square feet, and it only requires you to refill it one time up to 40 hours of usage. There's also a 10 hour program, or continuous if you didn't want to set a specific time. It also has a cool and warm mist option. This allows for all year round usage, and the warm mist can get pretty hot, up to 140 degrees. The Hue Pro humidifier is equipped with night mode. For those looking for a quiet humidifier that will allow you to sleep throughout the night peacefully, which all the lights and sounds can be deactivated. The air ionization is also a cool feature that caught my attention as it allows for 100% safe air purification cleansing by removing dust, pollen, smoke, and other allergens during usage. And the best part is there's no replacement needed for the aeronization, so less maintenance is required. And the last thing that helped me decide on this humidifier is the aroma box. It allows for purification induced with fresh fragrances of essential oils that fills the room. Overall, having used this humidifier for two months, the family have noticed waking up with more energy since getting more sleep. Allergy seems to have been reduced, there's less dry skin and less congestion, and no more itchy nose or scratchy throat. In addition, this Hue Pro humidifier has great ratings online, and my personal rating for it is 5 out of 5. I have no complaints so far. Now let's take a closer look at the Hue Pro humidifier together. You have your instruction manual and the humidifier itself. So I've taken all the contents out of the box. It came with a remote control, little lint brush. Very nice manual. And there's this envelope, this mysterious envelope that says, Open Me. I'm curious what this is. So it contains a magnet with uh, warranty information. And you can grab a free gift and then a little message here. It says, thank you so much for your purchase. We worked hard to make you 100% satisfied. Sure, you're honest. So this is more uh, to get you to leave a review for them. Let's go ahead and look at all the different parts of this humidifier. This would, this would be the water tank. Let me just put this aside for now. And let's take a look in the back of this. Here's the aroma box. This little bar here, little box here is the heater. And this is the transducer. And then you have the water tank. You would unscrew the bottom and fill this tank up with water. This right here is the water float. And there's actually a filter. You can hear that, that's probably all the, the filter material. And we'll fill this up with water and uh, I should be able to get this started. Let me take a look at the mist outlet real quick. This is where all the mist is gonna come out. And this top piece is also removable. 
It'll give you access to the top portion of the uh, water tank. This back. So the way I will get started, go to the bottom of this, remove this cap, and then fill this up with water. Plug this uh, base into the outlet. Now that we filled up the water tank, I'll slowly put this inside the base. So the top piece here, when you're filling it with water, will prevent the water from coming out. So it's good to have this on top of the humidifier when you're filling it up. Look at all the different options here on this remote. Just pressing a power button, you can see all this, the mist coming out of it already. Pop this one. Keep the lid on there so that way it's a more direct mist flow. So there's quite a few options for this humidifier. Let's kind of go through them one by one. So the first one is the on and off switch, which I have my thumb on right now. This one right here. And then you have the auto mode. And then you have your timer set right here. Let's see what kind of option comes up. One hour. So it does them in hour increments. And then you have the warm mist, which is why you saw the heater at the bottom of the humidifier. As so you can turn this on, it turns into that little red light comes on. And then you'll get warmer mist. I don't want that right now. And then you can also select the humidifier uh, levels. Uh, there's uh, the min level, which is at 40%, and then the max at 80%. So let me just do 80 for now. And uh, the min and max level, max is being three bars as we have it set right now. And then you have one as being the minimum level. And you have less mist coming out of it. And then you have your sleep mode. Then you have the ionizer, which is this button here. It's supposed to help purify the air. Let's see, that would be that button right there. All right guys, as you can see, this is coming up. So this humidifier right now is running at its maximum peak at three bars. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's at one. I'm going to go ahead and put it to level two. I've owned quite a few humidifiers over the years, and based off my first impression, this humidifier rocks. It's uh, giving a lot of mist out of there. It's performing really well, and I can see how this is going to help with uh, some of the breathing um, in a room and keeping it moist. So there you have it, guys. Uh, the Hue Pro humidifier. I would recommend you guys try it out. It looks pretty awesome to me, and I think this was a great buy especially for rooms that need hum more humidity. You can't go wrong with something like this. Um, I bought a few that were much cheaper in a $30, $40 range and never produced anything with this sort of output. We've yet to test the durability of it, but based on the reviews that we've read online, um, it seems to be durable. And uh, it does have a warranty that comes with the uh, humidifier. So there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, I'll see you then.